today, ladies and gentlemen. I'm back. It's good to be here. I'm about to uh, live stream RK Classic, as you see here, from SNK, the Neo Geo Collection. Prehistoric Isles 2. Now, originally, originally this came uh, back in the day when it was published. It was published by by uh, uh, I believe it was Hiram. If I'm not mistaken. Uh, and uh, and uh, uh, and uh, you know. Um, Oh, there's a type of delay, I think. And, uh, anyway, excuse me, guys. Uh, uh, good to be back. Hope you guys enjoy it. I haven't done one of these in a while. Um, but I had to throw retro, you know. This game actually was never available like this uh, on console uh, before. Or any existing console. Uh, the only one that was... Available was Prehistoric Isle 1 via the mini arcades on PS3. And like I was trying to say earlier that uh, originally this game, um, originally this game, um, uh, was published, I believe, by Irem? I could be wrong. I don't remember exactly. Uh, and then when they did the sequel, uh, it was published by Neo Geo. Neo Geo picked picked up, you know, the rights to the IP. I don't know if they own it now or if they sold the rights to the IP. But, uh, yeah, in any case, they, 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 they sold the rights. Sounds like a nice... This game has a nice uh, uh, look to it. It's almost like a Mortal Kombat style with 2D. Photorealistic elements. Um, but yeah, uh, they had some of the rights to, uh, I think they sold the rights to, to Neo Geo. Uh, I could be wrong. I could be very wrong. I don't remember exactly. Uh, uh, I don't know if they did. Do So this is the first time it's available on, uh, you know, on console. Obviously via the Xbox Live update program, and I believe it's also on the Switch and on the PSN as well. To via the, you know, the OG of classics. That's it early, or in the beginning. <laughs> So guys, it's good to be back. It's been very busy. It's been very hectic. Uh, really haven't had much time for gaming. But uh, I was supposed to play originally with my son. But for some odd reason, it's acting up. Not allowing us to do it. These <laughs> little passages. It's a 2D size school in the traditional sense, obviously, but different being you're fighting, you know, dinosaurs that have technological weaponaries built into them. Kind of reminds me of what they were trying to do at the end of the Jurassic World. If anybody's seen it, you know, a little sport in there. <laughs> Save them at least. Oh, 
got that 3D effect. It's pretty cool. You're flying towards the camera. Oh boy. Oh boy, couldn't say it Yes. Save those three people. That's good. Give me some luminary. Oh, uh oh, there we go. Close by. Actually, I forgot the name of that dinosaur. Pretty messed up. Ah. Uh. Uh, not to get hit again. Easier said than done, right? As unlimited continues, I usually just tend to just put it uh, on the hardest mode available. Just for the simple fact that, you know, you have unlimited continues, obviously. And the cool thing about streaming these types of games like this on case style is that you can, you know, pretty much just jump in and play through them beginning to end real quick, you know, a couple of maybe 45 minutes to an hour. And, and you're good to go. But they're good games to stream, you know, because they're uh, pretty quick, uh, you know, and, uh, and fun. The only thing bad is that the Neo Geo games, for some odd reason, they don't, uh, they don't support online poor via the online, right? You can play it locally, but even sometimes, you know, like I said, I was trying to play my son. It doesn't even work. Or I'll glitch out and I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's the emulator or the codex itself. It does it every so often. You know, it's not. It's a, and, it's a, and it also varies by games. You know, some fun games work perfectly fine. And then there's some that it's like, whoa, what's going on? Uh, as you can see, the graphics in this game are pretty nice. It holds up pretty well. I like I said, like that pre-rendered 3D art style. From back in the day. Kind of like the Pit Fighter and the Mortal Kombat style. Uh, it's basically the... Uh, Basically, I think what they were aiming for. Uh oh, someone got left out. Uh oh. Now, prehistoric pile one. I don't know if I ever streamed it on PSN. Oh, look! There goes my son. He's joining. Wow. Hey, son, how are you? <laughs> Always two is always better than one. That's for sure. Use your mo your bombs so, with A. So, yeah, like I was trying to say earlier. Oh man. Yeah, so these games were, uh, uh, you know, exclusively to the arcade via the Neo Geo cabinet. So, a lot of these games are making their first appearance on consoles for the first time after like over 20 semi years. 
And I know it's a shame because they sell them separately instead of selling them in a collection. But like, you know, eight bucks a pop pretty much. But with the achievements, you know, and the fact that you can play them uh, on your new consoles, it's, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. I don't know if, if it's worth for some, but hey, if in defense, and in, kind of interested, at least when you see people like me play them, play games, it'll give you a better perspective if you feel worth it. Because okay? again, no matter what, no matter how many times you look at me, you'll never get the full-on experience until you're playing it in real life and person yourself. Because it's not the same thing, obviously. A fun fact is just, it's very different when you're playing it in real life yourself than watching somebody play it. That, that sense of feel from the controller and, and the intensity of the game, whether it's difficult or not, it just heightens, obviously, personal experience. Warning, warning. Uh, the first one of, of this game is really, really dated. Not to say that this looks like spectacular to me or better, but if you played the original one, for those who have played it, you'll definitely know that there's a big difference. You know, like a night and day difference in comparison. Oh boy. I got slaughtered. Pacific Rim. <laughs> it's kind of crazy this, this was made way back when. And again, like I said earlier, I tend to put these games on the most difficult level because of the unlimited continues, the unlimited, you know, a uh, uh, lot of men. So that's the reason why. Uh, really nice graphics. Good music for what I'm listening to right now. Nice. Got a big garage of hell, hell, hellfire. Uh, with these chops. You know, believe it or not, if it wasn't for those unlimited things, these games would be not easy at all. Bombs, right? Fast pace. Without that, like I said, without that limited continued, you'd be a gunner. Because, of course, you know, these are quarter monsters, as we all used to call them back then. Just by design, it was just like you would be playing, you know, and get addicted to it until you mastered it and were able to beat it with less quarters, obviously. But they would make the money from you or off you, as it 
a newbie coming in to play for the first time. You were a seasoned expert. Uh, then you would be able to probably uh, not spend as much, but ooh. But in most cases, it didn't really matter. It was, it was done to be hard. You needed to keep putting credits, believe me. You were going to feel it. <laughs> It's turning back now. It's tough. It's turning all kinds of colors. I think it's turning yellow right now. Good job. Nice shit, son. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, like, you know, like I always say, these games are good to stream because they're fast paced, they don't take long. Beat them within 30 minutes, half at 40, sometimes an hour, you know, depending on the game. And uh, obviously, that's what makes things fun. You, whoever views this can stay and join, and not get bored, and watch the whole stream. But it's not taking too much time. to hold them back until they filled up the passengers and now we have whatever remaining passengers were left to try to get them to a certain point so they can get to some point. Which is kind of cool. Adds to the difficulty. Again, shoot them ups are one of my favorites from back in the day. And so it, it is for a lot of other gamers. Oh my god. It's crazy the difficulty level. And, and for those who may be wondering, yes, the game runs at 60 frames. And it does have slowdown on this. It seems like when we're having a barrage of things going on. The slowdown did exist even back then. The game pushed the hardware, that's what happened. It's just the nature of game. The game, you know, how they're designed. Oof. Wow. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. You see all that on screen? That's in real time. That's why I would slow down. <laughs> I can say, ladies and gentlemen, that the game compared to one is significantly better. What I'll probably do is I'll. If my son doesn't mind joining me sometime during the week. I'll stream one on PS2, three, if I can. I don't think I can, though. I could record myself playing it via my camera, at least. Be hot, huh? Come back.
would have to do it, yeah, via camera. But I do have it on the PS3. But this is significantly better, like I said. Oh boy. Morphing? He's actually morphing to a bigger side, huh? Oh boy. That bee left left the, the shell and now it's like a bee snake. Whoa. Stage five. I don't know exactly how many stages I have. I think it might be five or six. So it's usually what they go with the shoot them up in the Neo Geo brand. So I got, you know, I don't know if you guys caught it earlier, but uh, the original one, one of this game, the first one, I believe it was published by Iron. I'm mistaken. I could be wrong. Um, and then they hand it over either to a deal or maybe they split the, the profits or something or they were both involved with the development uh, to bring it out. Uh, published by the MG, obviously. Um, so it has a Neo Geo flair, like the, you know, the Neo Geo graphical style that their games tend to have, like Magician Lord and Ninja Combat and stuff like that. It's just not a bad thing, it's just that signature Neo Geo kind of graphical look is what I'm saying. Helicopters have to remind me of uh, Blue Thunder. Blue Thunder helicopter. You guys remember that? That 80s movie with Roy Schneider. The gentleman that was in uh, Jaws. Which made him a star, actually. The movie made him a star. Oh, 
Oh boy, everything's moving, wiggling. I'm gonna die. Very old film. Nice. Good shit, son. It does have a rapid fire, but if you press it uh, yourself as quickly as possible with your hand, you can actually get a bigger spread on your shots. For those of you that maybe didn't play the game, it's telling you a little bit of the elements of, of the gameplay mechanics of the game. I noticed some had a yellow helicopter, but now he has a red one. Oh, his garage of his powers shoots back the, the, the powers of, the, of, of whatever the, the dinosaurs are shooting at us. Kind of deflects them back. like a big uh, cybernetic octopus or historic octopus that flies. <laughs> We're not even under the water. Yeah. Wasn't too bad. That wasn't too bad. I think could have gotten worse. Uh oh. I guess I spoke too soon. Now we're gonna do this in 18,000 parts. I saw that coming. Shoot them up to be bugging. How am I supposed to shoot that from the back? Huh? Can't even turn around and face that way. Oh, damn. Impressive animation on the boss, huh? Oh 
one more. Take that. Ah. Yeah. Oh my god. Uh oh, oh, here we go. Here we go. Got him. He has in part. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Look at all the particle effects. That's why I'm leaving one at once. The game looks like it's starting to flicker on me. Jesus. Oh boy. Yeah, that's pretty impressive. For an old game. It's crazy, right? <laughs> My son is like, Jesus. Got that face like holy cow. Stage six complete. Boy. Oh, okay, so there you have it. That's actually the whole game. This is six stages, not bad. Pretty short. But fun nonetheless. So again, you know, I guess like that's why I put it on. I put it on the hardest level, and because you have the unlimited, uh, continues unlimited, uh, you know, uh, uh, what you call it continues and life. So you know, that's why I think it's pretty cool, and you can still play the game the hardest mode and see the real ending. If they do that, where they put the real endings based off the level of difficulty of of the games, you know. So yeah, guys, I hope you liked that. I, I enjoyed it. It was short but sweet. Um, maybe uh, during the week I get a chance I can do Shot Troopers one and two, and Sengoku three, which is the I've had them for a while and never really been able to stream them. Uh, with my boy so uh i appreciate you coming by and like the video you know spread, share it and comment comment on it and let me go with what you guys think and like i said i'll see if i can play the first one with my son on the ps3 via the phone uh because i can't stream it obviously on ps3 thanks again guys uh enjoy have a good night and keep it gaming like i said have fun Thanks for stopping by.